Major funding for this program was supplied by the National Science Foundation. Marty, please. This is Good Morning Indianapolis, not Good Morning World. <laughs> hey, uh, TV's important. Even local talk shows. You never know who's watching. Hmm? Excuse me, are you below zero? <laughs> That's beyond zero. Yeah, well, I'm their manager and this is them. Well, I'm really sorry, but we've scheduled too many guests. We're going to have to reschedule you for tomorrow's show. No, no, no. Tomorrow's out of the question. Tomorrow we have to be in Topeka for a benefit. I'm sorry, it's not... Excuse me. We're really counting on this. We need the publicity for our concert here tonight. There's nothing I can do. Marty? Marty Reynolds? PJ? <laughs> you <old> bear cat. <laughs> now, what are you doing in my television station? Your station? I'm the general manager here. Oh, <laughs> got you dressed up in a suit and everything. And what happened to the Jimi Hendrix cut? Man, went out with the bell bottoms. Yeah, what can yeah. I say? <laughs> well, this is beyond zero, and I'm their manager. What do you say, guys? Uh, PJ here used to play bass in my band way back, uh, ooh, yeah, too long way back ago. Man. Yeah. You must be here for the morning show. Well, yeah, we were until we got bumped. You got bumped? There was a scheduling problem, and... Well, well, let me guess. Joel overbooked again, right? Well, you tell Joel that I said to find two minutes for these guys, okay? Come on, Marty, let me show you around. I've got a couple things to talk to you about. Sounds good. Okay, yes, follow me. Home of the Bell, Waterloo, Waterloo, Qualifier, Crispy Turbo Fries, and Extra Thick. Formula One Shakes now introduces the 500. We're coming up on 15 minutes to wear, everyone. Christy, we've got to get this about zero thing moving. Yeah, I know. They're, they're coming. They're right behind. Well, we won't go wrong with the original Indie Burger. The all big American classic oh. is dripping with cheese and onions. And our own... Are you hungry? Stop. Well, next time, just look for the checkered flag and Indie Burger. Okay, you can wait here until you go on. You can see what's going on in the studio on this monitor. That's Justin, your audio engineer. He's here to help. You have a two-minute time slot. I'll work it out somehow. I guess we're not going to be headlining today. Yeah, I guess we're not going to have a chance to do our two oh, songs Christy. either. Right there. Don't take it personally. It happens all the time. I usually find out there's a problem when I do the format sheet. Could we see a copy of that? Sure. You go on right here. Christy. Okay, I'm going, now. I'm going. The format sheet's a rundown of what happens when during the show. What's with all these negative numbers? So they use negative numbers, like on a thermometer at the North Pole? The show starts at minus 30 minutes, right? Then every time something happens on the show, they add minutes, and they get closer and closer to zero. You know, minus 29, minus 28, all the way up to zero. Why don't you just add five minutes to the show? Guys. No, because then all the other shows would be off schedule. Well, so how are they gonna come up with our two minutes? Well, they've got like 10 minutes of commercials here. I know they can't cancel any, but if they can just cut a little, we'd have like two minutes. Yeah, and but- There's no way they're gonna cut the commercials. I mean, that's how they pay the bills. But look, this interview here, it's six and a half minutes long. That's about fishing lures. What's a fishing lure? You know, fake bait, a bunch of uh, feathers wrapped around a hook. Couldn't this guy talk about his fake bait in five minutes? Yeah, that'd work. That'd give us a minute and a half to do our song. Yep, yeah, you guys. And here, there's a lot of time for this report on the Indy 500. I mean, they could cut 30 seconds there. That's our two minutes. Add in our performance, and the show comes right out on zero. But guys, we still got a problem. Our shortest song is two minutes and 49 seconds. Okay, everyone, we go live in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes to air. Truth is, Marty, I need someone on my team exactly like you. Someone who knows young audiences. 
You mean sit behind a desk all day making deals to buy TV shows? Exactly. Behind a big desk in, in, in a beautiful office with a staff. And you'll be making twice as much money as you're making now. Oh, looks like five minutes on there. We plenty. And we're 30 seconds to air. What do they expect us to do? Just quit in the middle of a verse? Well, they're not going to give us any more time, so we better do something. Well, it had better be fast because, guys, it's showtime. Morning, in Indianapolis. <laughs> We've got it all for you today. Live reports from Indy 500. And a special appearance by Boris, a dog who counts. <laughs> and we have Butch Needlesmith with his alluring rules. And in their Indianapolis debut, Beyond Zero. Something? Whose idea was this anyway? You mean we're following a fake bait guy and a dog? Come on, okay. This is our shortest song, and it's about 49 seconds too long. We know that. 49 seconds is almost one minute, so our song lasts almost three minutes, which is about one-third longer than it has to be. You mean 33% longer. Same thing. Besides, who's doing the explaining here? Look, we're listening. Will you just go on? Okay, as I was saying, our song lasts about one-third too long. 33% has to go. This is simple. Look, the song basically breaks down into three parts. Part one, a verse and a chorus. Part two, an instrumental break and a chorus. And part three, the final verse and another chorus. We just have to drop one part. I timed it. A verse and a chorus together last about one minute, 58 seconds to be exact. If we sing two verses and two choruses together, we'll come out at just under two minutes. No way, that means we would have to cut my guitar solo. <laughs> Look, I'm not too thrilled about this either. I did write the song. All right, fine. Okay. All right. Look, I'd feel better if we ran through it a couple of times, okay? Hey, there's Marty. Better go tell him what's going on. Okay, guys, let's get going. It's a great job, Marty. You know what the kids like. You'd call all the shots. Yeah, but I like being on the road. You did too, remember? Yeah, but that was then. This is now. Now face it, you've earned a shot at doing something different. We're talking a lot of money here, Marty. You can't afford to pass this up. Think about it, all right? Yeah. Well, texture, I'm saying, because we've gone through smooth and long and short, but this looks like it's, it's going to hurt. Oh, well, some fish have sore throats. So the first thing you must remember is a fish can't scratch his throat if it's sore, so immediately he looks for a lure that is particularly scratchy. It's easy to Jill? It seems that Marty's old friend has offered him a great job. Doesn't matter, he won't take it. Marty's no desk jockey. <laughs> Can't you just see Marty in a three-piece suit? Mr. Holloway said that it was a lot of money and that Marty just couldn't afford to turn him down. Hey, how's it going? What's the problem? Why the long faces? Sorry to tell you this, but the show's running long. I had to cut your time back to one and a half minutes. And you're on in ten minutes. Oh, I can't believe this. Camera two, get me a close-up of the tiddlywhacker. This purple tiddlywhacker is a particularly fine example of the sort of tiddlywhacker you find in the northern Ozarks. Now, an Ozark fish would find that alluring because... Oh, you see? And all we get's a lousy 90 seconds? Forget it. After all, this isn't exactly David Letterman. So that's it. You're quitting. What do you expect us to do? This just isn't worth it, man. Sure it's worth it. It's good publicity for the concert tonight. Hey, look, my friend PJ's on our side. We still got a minute 30. Oh, listen, you guys. You know this business is a lot of hard work. When the going gets rough, you don't just quit. We gave it our best shot. Well, sometimes you got to give even more. More than 100%. Just think about it. I'll be right back. I'm going to take care of something. More than 100%? That's it. We can play the song at more than 100%. No way. Nothing is more than 100%. Sometimes it can be. The Enterprise engines are always running at 115%. That starship is always going faster than it should. Yeah, but check it out. This isn't some funky starship. This is our music. Well. 
maybe we could speed things up. Yeah, we could. We can't do it that fast, but if we increase the tempo just a bit... I guess. I don't think I'm gonna like this, though. Natasha, what is it that Boris does? Boros can add. Oops. Now, Boros, that is three plus one. Roof, 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 roof. Yo, Johnny, we need your help here. The dog gets more time than us. Okay. So we managed to cut the song down to two minutes. 120 seconds. Now we need to play the same amount of music in 90 seconds. Looks like when you're late for school. You know it usually takes you 20 minutes, but now you've got to cover the same distance, only faster. So we just got to find out how much faster to make the tempo. That's easy. You just compare the two numbers. Make a ratio? Yeah, compare 120 seconds to 90 seconds. Yeah, 120 over 90 is the same as uh, 12 ninths. Or 4 thirds. Or 1 and 1 third. I know, Frankie. That's the same as 133%. Finally, someone sees things my way. So we have to play our song at 133% of the tempo we used before. And our 120 seconds collapses into 90 seconds? It's easy doing just enough to just get by, but you won't fly. Not bad. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I still like the old way better. Oh, but this is not bad. Yeah. Hey, Justin, could you give us a click track of 133%? something? Well, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. And we're clear. <laughs> Great, Great job, guys. Very cool. Very, Very cool. Job. Well Very done. Well job. done. Great Good luck. I gotta run. All right. Marty. Buddy, I see why you turned me down. These guys are great. They're going places. <laughs> hey, you guys, come here a second. That was outstanding! <laughs> Best set you've ever done! I, the PJ's right, we're going places. So that means you're not gonna take the job. How'd you know about that? Nah, never mind. This is my dream, working with you guys, rock and roll. Hey, you know, and like our song says, I'm gonna give it more than 100%. Hey, listen, 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 listen. We had a celebrity guest in the control room today. He's a hometown guy. He comes to visit once a year, and he asked me to give you this. Dear gang, great job. Keep working and call me for an audition in a year. Sincerely. David Letterman! <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, you never know who's watching, right?